Now it's probably going to be a pretty good idea to test everything before we get too far into building it. Let's make sure all of our stuff works like it should. So to do that, let's first test our solar panel in charging controller. Now these pigtails are going to plug in to our charge controller right where it shows the uh, solar panel icon. And you'll notice that there is a plus and a minus. So we need to make sure that the plus cable from our solar panel goes to the plus on the controller. So you can see this is the cable with the plus. So if we follow that and we see what connection that is, then we can take the matching pigtail connector, which is this one, and we know this is the one that needs to go to the plus on our charge controller. Okay, the next thing we're gonna wanna do to test, we have our pigtails hooked up. Now we're going to hook the just some temporary wires from our charge controller to the battery. And the way you do these connectors on those is you just loosen these guys up all the way, which opens up the jaws inside here. And we just slide the red wire for the positive side in. And then we tighten her back down. And I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna do a quick loosen on that nut. Place it in there and snug it. I'm trying to do this one-handed. And that's just a good temporary connection. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing for the black wire. Okay. So now we've got the red and the black wire connected to our charge controller. And as, as soon as I hooked that battery negative cable up, you'll see that the green light came on, which indicates that my battery is charged. So, so far so good. Now the next thing to do is we're gonna take the long leads on our panel. I'm gonna flip this panel over so that it's catching a little bit of light. And I'm indoors, so it's not gonna take a lot of light, but that's okay, we're just doing a test here. And now we're gonna connect these pigtails from the panel to the pigtails on our charge controller. Okay, I've got the positive side connected. As you hook these up, double check that your positive lead on your panel is indeed going to the positive wire on your controller. Very important, you don't get those backwards. You can damage your controller if you do. And there we go. What I did is I picked the panel up and I pointed it towards the window. And as soon as I got it closer to the sunlight coming in the window, my green light came on. So now it shows that it is indeed charging the battery. So we know our panel works and our charge controller works. Let's go ahead and hook up our inverter and make sure our inverter works as well. Okay, in order to test our inverter, we're gonna need the inverter and the two mounting cables that it came with. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take these plastic covers off of the uh, power tabs on this inverter. These are very nice, by the way. Um, I like the way that they protected those wires. And then you're gonna need a 9 16 inch wrench to loosen these two nuts. And remove the nut, as well as the washer and lock nut. And do the same thing for the other side as well. Then we're going to take one end of the red power cord and we're gonna place that onto the uh, terminal. Put our nut washer back in. You wanna do the terminal first, then the washer, then the lock nut. What we're trying to do is sandwich that terminal against the back of that binding post. That gives it a good solid connection. So we go ahead and place that on there. Thread it back down. Snug it. You don't need to go crazy. Just get it lightly snugged. As soon as you start to compress that lock washer, that's sufficient. Um, don't over tighten or you may risk damaging your binding post. Then the protective cover back on and then the plastic nut on top of that. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for the negative side as well. Okay, we have the red side connected to the positive cable and we have the black side connected to the negative cable. Um, currently, I have the switch in the off position. We're gonna lay that down and we're going to take the positive cable and we're gonna connect that to the binding bar on the positive side of the battery. So, we got both our cables hooked up. We're ready to go to turn this switch 
So I turned that switch, the blue light changed momentarily, which I believe is normal. And then there's another power switch right here. We turn that on, light came on, everything's looking good there. It gives us our battery voltage. So it appears to be working. Uh, it's probably a good idea to take something with a decent sized load. I'm gonna use this electric fan and we're gonna plug that in and make sure that our fan kicks on. The cat will let me. Okay, got that plugged in and let's test our fan. Our fan is running. So, our inverter is working. One more thing I do want to test with this inverter, we have the remote switch. So let's make sure our remote switch works. And it uses just a standard phone cable. And then we plug our phone switch cable in right here on the back. And then the other end of our cable is gonna to go to the back of the remote switch. Okay, and now the unit is off on the front and I'm gonna hit the remote. And if we get a green light there, and the power's on there. So let's make sure our inverter works again. Fan's running. And I'll turn it off with the remote switch. So perfect, everything's working just as it should. Okay, one more thing that we haven't tested yet is the float charger for the battery maintainer for when we're having it plugged into the standard AC power for when we have it plugged into a standard power cord. And to do that, you just take these two pigtails and we're gonna hook our positive to the positive and our negative to the negative side. Don't need to wrench tight these, just finger tight will be fine for what we're doing just for testing. Okay, so we got it hooked to our battery. Now, to be thorough, we might as well charge or test it through our surface mount connector. Very unlikely that there's any issues with that, but it doesn't hurt to be thorough and tested at the same time. Plus, it'll help you get a visualization of how it's all going to be wired in our case. Okay, so then we take that and we plug in an extension cord. Okay, I have it plugged in. Okay, I have it hooked up with our negative cable to the negative side, positive to the positive side to their maintainer. And you can see right now the red light is on solid. That means it is charging. Now when I first plugged it in, here I'll unplug it so I can show you what happened. As I first plugged the unit in, both lights came on. Then they shut off. And about two seconds later, the red solid light came on. And that indicated it's charging. So the, the delay was that the device was analyzing the battery, deciding if it needs charged or maintained or what mode it needed to operate in. But it looks like everything with that is working. So the only thing left to test is our work lights. So these, to do a quick test, all we have to do is just tap or touch the positive and negative wires together. And as you can see, that light is working and it's very bright. And let's check the other one. And we'll do the same thing. And that light is working. So, looks like we're in good shape. Everything that we've received today is in working order.